She's been providing passengers with glorious views of the southwest coastline for years. But now the Balmoral, the last ship of its kind in the country, is facing an uncertain future. Bad weather has meant no sailings were possible this year, and after spending time in Bristol City docks, the 60-year-old vessel is due a major service. At least 250,000 will be needed for her annual dry docking, which unfortunately is coming up to a five-year survey, which is that little bit more intensive and is that little bit more expensive. And who knows just what that might discover that needs doing. And so we're putting a contingency figure of another 100,000. So 350,000 will guarantee that the ship will be out sailing again next summer. It's not the first time this historic ship has seen its finances under pressure. You're going to have to... Uh do a lot of hard work in the next year. You, you've, got, you've won the money! Just over two years ago, the charity that owns the Balmoral won ITV's People's Millions, securing £50,000 for much-needed renovation work. Now, from the outside, the Balmoral does look a little bit tired, but it's not just a lick of paint this ship needs. Essentially, to keep it in service, it needs to be fished out of the water for a sort of ship MOT, and it's that that could cost upwards of a quarter of a million pounds. Another challenge faced by this ship is its size, requiring large numbers of passengers simply to break even. You see, this ship will take 680 passengers, and uh, she needs at least 400 people on a day trip to cover her costs. And so, yes, it takes a lot of promotion, a lot of marketing to make sure we get that number. With nearly 30 years of trips along the coast to places like Ilfracombe and Clevedon, it's not just the owners hoping to see this ship setting sail once again. Many people who go out on these um, evening cruises, you know, parties, that sort of, you know, social functions, whatever. Um, it's, it is a great draw in the town, but also it brings in visitors from elsewhere. Despite the work required, volunteers are already planning for sailings next year and hope it will be making waves once again come May. John T. Messer, ITV News, Bristol.